I've said this many, many times, if you haven't heard this before, that DEI didn't earn it does the exact opposite of what it purports to. DEI is discrimination, period. It is America's worst idea. I'm gonna share with you a video that is gonna absolutely blow your mind. Um, before I do, the Mayo Clinic. This is a clinic that I have revered and respected, I'm sure you have too, for decades, if not centuries. There was an amazing Ken Burns documentary on the Mayo Clinic. The Mayo Clinic has been the North Star, the gold standard of medical practitioners and medical practice and innovation. The doctor, you saw, my, if you haven't seen my video on the, my medical nightmare, my personal, I'll leave it in the end screen. Uh, the doctor who actually saved my arm, uh, revered and studied at Mayo Clinic. But DEI has infected our illustrious amazing healthcare industry in so many nefarious ways. And now I'm gonna share with you this abomination of DEI infecting Mayo Clinic with their new post on LinkedIn, uh, posting a job for a nurse. They have excluded white people and they've included this litany of abominable equity di under the mask and guise of equity and di these prerequisites to apply for this job i'm going to show you this then i'm going to show you what mainstream media won't show you what legacy media won't show you unseen breaking footage of a migrant on tiktok helping his audience sharing with his hundreds of thousands of followers the most insane thing ever regarding squatting and immigrating into this country illegally. You got to hang out and check out that video coming up. Before I do, just really, really quickly, this channel was really perpetuated by the whole Claudine Gay. I'm so grateful for all the growth. I love you guys in this nation. I love you guys more than anything. Um, being somebody who actually taught the principles of Aristotelian rhetoric for decades, business communications, digital media, the like. Um, I, I know these people. I was commissioned to Washington by my university. I know all the swamp. I know the swamp vermin. Claudine Gay, plagiarist, and countless other examples of how DEI, these are all DEI hires. Kamala Kami Harris, DEI hire. Obama, the DEI affirmative action president. I mean, this is, this is the number one kind of pillar of this channel because I think that DEI is America's worst idea. America is based on a meritocracy. If you work your butt off, if you contribute, if you actually put in the time, the blood, sweat, and tears, and your ideas, your thoughts, your vision is actually something that merits concern and worthiness, you win. It's as simple as that. Meritocracy, the best idea win. It's not based on ego. It's not based on your idea, my idea, their idea. There's no discrimination. The I don't care what color you are. I don't care what background you have. The best idea wins. DEI is the exact rebuke to that. It is a rebuke to everything that we hold near and dear as Americans. And so I just wanted to get that out because the Claudine Gay debacle and how our higher education system, which I ate, slept, and breathed in for decades. Thank God I'm running my media company and my channels, et cetera, et cetera, now with your guys' help. I'm not really involved too um, closely as I used to be, thank God, but it is uh, America's worst idea. It's infected every industry. And now, I mean, a, a an industry that I hold so near and dear, uh, a, a hospital, a healthcare provider like Mayo Clinic, it breaks my actual heart. Check this out. This is a job post from Jobs of Humanity, who's partnered with Mayo Clinic. Okay, the job is looking for a cardiologist nurse, an ER nurse. And this is on LinkedIn. If you don't know anything about LinkedIn, LinkedIn is pretty much one of the, the top websites to find jobs. And your LinkedIn profile is something that uh, is almost like an online resume, if you will. And 
I want you to read this company description with me and how absolutely egregious this is. I've highlighted the part that um, I think is absolutely egregious and is just a total abomination. And it, now to me, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. It ruins the entire credibility of Mayo Clinic. It follows thusly. Jobs for Humanity is partnering with Mayo Clinic to build an inclusive and just employment ecosystem, which essentially means DEI didn't earn it, which has everything to do with exclusion rather than inclusion. Therefore, here's the absolute travesty of this. Therefore, we prioritize individuals coming from the following communities. Refugees? Neurodivergent? I'm not even really sure what that is. Single parent, blind or low vision, deaf or hard of hearing, black, Hispanic, Asian, military veterans, the elderly, the LGBTQ. And then this is probably the, the strangest, most bizarre part, which makes no sense. And justed, justice impacted individuals. So if you're white, if you're Caucasian and you're qualified and you work your butt off, you got your nursing certificate, nursing degree, you passed all board exams, et cetera, et cetera. But because of a, a trait that you have zero control over, your skin tone, you're not allowed to apply for this job. How in the world is that American? The, the justice impacted individuals i don't even know what the hell that means so you're basically saying that's a euphemism that's that's more woke weak feeble not calling it like it is not telling it like it is masking it in this uh sort of um you know uh, accommodating language this soft weak language woke language justice impacted individual are you talking about criminals are you talking about illegal aliens are you talking about migrants who illegally cross our border in the millions thanks to Bidenomics and Kami Kamala? Is that what you're talking? Is that what you're referring to, Mayo Clinic? If you see this, Mayo Clinic, I would love for you to comment on this because this is discrimination. I mean, it's, it's discrimination. There's no other way of putting this. It's absolutely unadulterated, unequivocally discrimination. It's wrong. Best person for the job meritocracy the person who deserves to get the job should earn the position and a barometer a criteria such as something that you have zero control over which is the pigmentation of my skin that covers my body should have zero bearing on your decision this is an atrocity i would love to hear your thoughts on this next nation it's it gets me so angry. It gets because they 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 try to make it a. Um, they try to uh, actually defend this. They, they they defend it using even more soulless, um, leftist rhetoric that absolutely has zero meaning. They invent new language. I believe it was Orwell, who said, "Once you start redefining terms." Once you start saying that you can't, uh, that uh, the, the definition of a woman is not a woman anymore. Once you start redefining and coming up with new definitions and meanings for language, you exert control. This is totalitarianism at its finest. This is DEI, didn't earn it, America's worst idea. And it makes absolutely no sense. This is not America. This is anti-America. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, Nation. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of Mayo Clinic? What do you think of that job description? Are you as angry as I am? Am I wrong? I'm happy to be wrong. While you're doing that, I've got something that's going to absolutely blow your mind. This guy is a migrant illegal who somehow has garnered a huge following on TikTok. And in this video, you want to talk about DEI. This is the kind of guy who can apply for this nursing position, probably without even any kind of board certification. You don't need any documentation. You don't need any legal citizenry. You don't need to be have a green card, a visa, nothing. This guy could actually work here. 
And he is a product of DEI. He's a product of Biden's border, border policies. He's a product of the last four years. Watch what he says to his followers. And then we'll talk a little bit about this. Check this out. Mi gente, he pensado invadir una casa en Junei State. Ya que me enteré que existe una ley que dice que si una casa no está habitada, podemos expropiarla. Capichi, muchachos, aquí en Junei State también se aplica la de invasión de terreno. Y creo que ese será mi próximo negocio. Invadir casas abandonadas. Ya que me he buscado unos códigos con mis amigos africanos. Y me dijeron que ya llevan como siete casas expropiadas. Y como dice el dicho, papi, hay que buscar la vuelta. Y la vuelta ahorita mismo es invadir casas. Ya que nos encontramos en situación de calle. Y es la única manera que tenemos para no vivir en la calle y no ser una carga pública. Capichi, la ley dice que las casas abandonadas, deterioradas y que esté en mal estado, podemos llegar y repararlas, vivir en ella y si podemos venderla, hasta pedir créditos con ella. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? He's not wrong. The law says that. Whose law is that? Whose policy is that? You know who. Tombstone Biden, Kami Kamala Harris, Shifty Weasel Pencil Dick Schiff, Greasy Gavin Newsom, the whole consortium, the whole Obama consortium. I mean, I, you know, it's just like, he's just, I don't even blame this guy, honestly. He's just doing, you know, uh, he, he, he's just doing what they're allowing. They're, they're opening the doors. They're opening the borders. They're absolutely uh, uh, imprisoning homeowners from even trying to uh, prosecute these uh, migrants and these squatters. This is what the last four years has brought us. This is what Tombstone Biden and the Obama Consortium has brought us. They're absolutely tearing this country apart. And this guy has hundreds of thousands of followers on uh, TikTok. You think the mainstream media is going to talk about this? You think NBC, MSNBC, you think CBS, you think CNN is going to show this video? Definitely not. No. But your boy Nez is going to bring it to you because this should alarm every single American. I actually don't blame the guy at all. He is following the egregious policies by the United States of America, by Tombstone Biden and the entire Obama consortium. And he is just adhering to that. And he's, it's like, it's like uh, finding the loophole in the tax code. I didn't write the tax code, but of course, I'm going to find the loopholes if they exist. I'm going to find and navigate. He's just being smart and navigating that. He's an illegal migrant who probably God knows how many houses he's invaded, how many he's squatted at. He probably has a, a coalition of a criminal enterprise of probably his buddies and you know his fellow God knows where, Chilean, Venezuelan uh, 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 crime uh, rings that are doing this. If, if Look, if you're going to open the door, if you're going to say, come on in and do what you will, do what you may, you don't need to be documented. You don't need any uh, paperwork. You don't need to, you can be illegal. You can uh, come in the country anytime you want. The border's wide open. You, we have all these policies where we're not going to prosecute you. We're not going to put you in jail. You can beat up officers. You can break the law anytime you want, and it's going to be okay. We're not going to prosecute you. We're going to let you out. No bail. No bond. Of course you're going to take, who wouldn't take advantage of that? So, <sighs> Again, the reason nobody wants to touch this, the reason that CNN, none of these so-called uh, analysts and experts who love their country, who claim that democracy's on the ballot this year, democracy's on the ballot, these egregious hypocrites, these vile, uh, detestable 
hypocrites. The hypocrisy is so voluminous, it's impossible to contain. Um, the reason they won't touch this is because of DEI, because of this wokeology, this mind virus, because they're afraid of getting canceled. They know the truth. You don't think Anderson, you think Anderson Cooper wants this guy squatting in his house? You think Jake Tapper wants this guy squatting in his house or Scott Pelley? You think Rosie O'Donnell wants this guy moving in next door? How about Robert De Niro? You think Robert De Niro wants that guy living down the street from his grandkids? You hypocrites. Mark Ruffalo? Oh, God, that guy is an absolute abomination. We need to wake up, America. We need to get our country back. That's what this channel is all about. I'm not afraid to say it. And I know you're not either. I'm not afraid to say it. This is all a product of the America's worst idea, the biggest infection that's ever it's the, it's the worst cancer that has infected our country. The worst cancer. And right now, it is a cumbersome tumor. But we still have time to excise it and get rid of it. But if we don't take action, this is the most consequential year of our republic. I've said it a million times. If we don't take action, if these policies win in seven months in November, it's over. You might as well kiss this republic goodbye because it's going to be that times 100x more over the next four years till 2028. We won't have a country left in 2028. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are, Nez Nation. I'm going to throw this off to you. What do you think of this video? What do you think of the Mayo Clinic? What are your thoughts on DEI? Didn't earn it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I throw this off to you. I try with my whole soul best to respond to all the comments. Obviously, Super Chats, channel members get first dibs. Super Stickers get first priority. Um, consider becoming a member. It's just one cup of coffee a month. You spend more at Starbucks in less than 10 seconds than you would supporting the country. Supporting the truth. That's what this channel is all about. Consider becoming a member. Uh, we got exclusive perks. You get badges next to your name, special emojis. You get shout outs and live streams, comments, responses. Consider becoming a member. It costs as much as a cup of coffee. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, also, if you made it this far in the pinned comment or in the show notes, if you're listening on the podcast, our free newsletter, become a Nez Nation Insider. Our Nez Nation Insider newsletter is absolutely free. It is your best way to always be in the know and never miss out on new videos, live streams, updates, breaking news, the whole gamut from Nez Nation. It's free. All you got to do is click on the link, click on newsletter, give us your best email, and you're in. We don't spam. We don't share your email with any third parties. You have my Nez Nation guarantee, my hand over my heart. We will not do that. And so uh, become a, a Nez Nation insider. I, I promise you, you will uh, be disappointed. Check out these videos right here. We just went live earlier today. This video right here relates to this video. Make sure you check out these right here. Subscribe. Hit the bell notification. May God bless you. God bless your families, and God bless America. I'll see you soon.